All right, first, let me start with something of an announcement, because I think 2022 is very likely going to be the last year I am making Go videos for this channel, at least on a regular basis. And I haven't fully committed to this decision, but I'm feeling like I am my attention is being pulled in too many directions, and there's so many great people making great content, uh, and I just want to like hang out play go and drink wine like i've i've take my my level of seriousness uh for teaching you guys how to play go has definitely turned a little bit i guess i don't know changed morphed some sort of word uh so it's very likely again this isn't this isn't set in stone i am sharing i'm just opening up and sharing where i'm at right right now with all of you that it, it's likely that, let's say, my 500th lecture will be my last one. And I know that's some time away, right? I'm making about four of these a month, so, you know, we're going to go well, well, dig deep into 2022. So don't panic yet. Don't, like, unsubscribe. Like, I'm still here. Don't, I'm not dead. <laughs> but that's what I'm thinking. If you have a comment, let me know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I'm watching. I'm watching these other streamers and and Go content creators, and there are so many good ones now that ah, uh, you know, it's it 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 just yeah. I want to give them their space and their due, and you know, direct you know all of your eyeballs to them because they're doing some really great things. And I'll probably release a couple of videos about that, like like what where should you go for Go content? But that'll be another day. Today we're here to drink wine because <laughs> that's what this channel has become. And today's a very special day because I am drinking a buttery Chardonnay. And this is like, this is like the thing that I avoid at wine tastings. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to go into this today with such an open mind and drink it just with reckless abandon. Is that the right? No, that's not even the right. That's not even close. Dr drink it with, yeah, just an open mind and, and really try to enjoy it. Uh, because again, this is just not a style of wine that for me historically has performed well. And you know, there's a lot of people who do like buttery Chardonnays and we'll talk about why and, and, and what's going on. But for now, let me get this baby open and pour myself a glass. Oh yes. Oh yes. All right. Here comes the pour. Ooh. All right. Very gold in color. And I also don't own like a, like a fancy, these are like super cheap white wine. I'm not even, they're even not even white wine. They're like generic wine glasses from like a wine tasting. Uh, I don't even own a, like a nice white wine glass. <laughs> so I should fix that, I guess, at some point. But here we go. Here's the uh, the first pour and on the nose. It smells like wine. Yep. Yep. It smells like wine. I wish I could say more complex things about it, but... <laughs> Let me get around to to tasting it. Now, uh, here, maybe if we play a game of Go. I know I, I have I have to drink it before we, we start playing, right? That's a rule. Mm. All right, I am getting like like sort of like like butter and flour. Um, what the what is the fruit? This is so difficult. Wine tasting is hard. Do they? Do you guys know that? All right, let's let's just take us. Let's just dive in. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's that finish. Oh, all right. I don't, man. Oh, it's going to make me cry. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, it's just that finish has like this this like weird buttery oaky I don't know thing to it that um you know and red wine is totally fine right like I don't like oak most red wines are oaked have a lot of that oakiness they don't have like like any of this again I'm describing it as butter like it's but it's butter is not even the right term I don't think I think I think butter is like overselling the dairy aspect of it um it's sort of like. How else? I don't know how to, I don't know. I, I should, I, I really don't, like, I'm out of my league here tasting Chardonnay. Um, this was the, I, the first bottle of wine I ever bought was Chardonnay. And I actually bought it below when I was before the age of 21. 
And man, I remember not liking it even then. And granted, like all wine tasted bad to me at that time. Uh, you know, before you're 21, you, it's hard to appreciate alcohol in general, like especially like nice alcohols. Mm. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna have to keep drinking it. We're just gonna power through. Let's play Go. Let's let's uh, get through this. Play some Go. Maybe by the end Start of the game, play. I'll be feeling it. Um, it's it, it's like to me to me like it has the same quality as tequila, where it has this, has this haunting kind of kind of aroma or flavor profile that I don't get anywhere else. And it's that uniqueness, right? That just kind of makes you go, whoa, makes you stop what you're doing. And it's very subtle. Like like Chardonnay, like this this little flavor compound, whatever it is, you know, it's just subtle and it just kicks off, I don't know, a whole bunch of either memories or something. It's I yeah. Apparently I'm doing a lot of emotional processing today. Maybe it's over the, the realization that I'm not going to be making these Go videos forever. Oh man, this board. Oh, I don't have coordinates on. I'm so, Nope, that's not coordinates. These are coordinates. All right. Um, yeah. What's going on in this? This board looks so huge <laughs> to me. Uh, man, I feel like I should dive in. So many things I should do. So many things. Let's just build... He's building, I'm building, we're all building. It's all happy. Again, I, I, I've, been, I've still been playing more chess than Go lately, um, which is part of the reason why this board looks so huge. That has nothing to do with the wine. This is chess. It's such a small, like, like knife fight kind of game um, compared to Go. And this is just so nice and open. And you just let your imagination run wild here. You don't have to do all that busy calculating that... You know, it exists on the chessboard. This is uh, this is very daring. Let's just try it. I really don't want those numbers on, do I? No. Hmm. All right. Well, I can take the corner, or I can just make a little base there. Either one seems like fair options, and I can leave that for later too. I think I'm just gonna leave it for later. Um, let's just play this way and give my big corner over here. Okay. And again, depending on what black, if black really tries to build the outside, then I'll make a base. And if black, um, you know, if it if it if it just is clear that I can always in, that I can always reduce it from the outside, then I'll then I'll play this three three point. Um, this move is always sad when black has a stone here because now black shape is actually really good. Usually play this play this sequence and black stone is one line closer, so it's a little more over concentrated. Um, I can try to ask for a lot here. That'd be ambitious. Let's just take a two-space base. Ooh, okay. It's going to follow up that way. That's fine. Um, playing one more move here to stabilize is quite prudent. And closing here is quite big. Playing anything over here is also very big. And do I feel, how do I feel? How do I, I feel like I should drink another sip of this. Oh, yeah, the no... Oh, man. I, I don't... I can't just... Like, I don't have words for it. Like, it's such a, like, subtle little... Thing that's just that just hits me in a weird, in a weird place. Like it, it's fine. Like it's not. It's not like offensive. It's just it just hits me in a weird place. Man, open mind. We have to keep an open mind about the wine tonight. <laughs> ah, oh my god! On the the finish, it lingers and then it turns more buttery as the time goes on. Okay, all right. Focus on go. Focus on go. That's that's what we're all doing here. Uh, I'm gonna play that later. <laughs> Not now. We definitely either have it's it's over here, here, or over here. Like that. Those are my options. Should take a poll. <laughs> yeah, let's just play this enclosure. Um. Yeah. If this stone was closer, of course, I would I would feel much better about playing there. Okay. Uh, I can reduce, I can even play this way. This really doesn't feel that bad. But the stone out here, I feel like I'm, I have a little more leeway. A little over concentrated. But I think this is how the game's gonna go. Oh, okay. Uh, I should calculate if he has a ladder. No, he's not, uh, never mind. He's not even gonna play ladder variation. So I don't need to calculate nothing. Great. Uh, just come in between. Looks good. Let's play that there. Oh, okay. Uh, just come underneath. 
Mm-hmm. Let them sort of connect on the top. Right. Yeah, I think this. I think this is fine. I could also play here, which is pretty interesting. Do I play here and just and just give him this really really over concentrated shape? I think so. Because he still doesn't have two eyes yet, so he has to be a little bit careful. Okay, that's good. Oh, might be time. What do we do? What do we do? Let's ask. I might. I might even Tanuki here again. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, I'm. This is hard. Why? I don't. Well, let's, let's, we can. We can psychologically analyze me and try to figure out like what is making this particular style of wine. I don't know. Just kick me in a weird place. Maybe it is just because it was the first bottle of wine I ever had. Though I really don't remember that, that like that oaky, buttery kind of kind of character tasting note on that at all at the time. I was just more like alcohol. Uh, you know, underage drinking being what it is. Um, I think we just play here. We don't have to be too greedy, right? Um, so I certainly don't think that's it goes that far back <laughs> in terms of. My memory in context. All right, tarring there seems a little bit extra. <laughs> he has a nice move here to link up if I just stand. But you know, that might be good enough. If he links up, that's fine. I can shoulder hit her. Oh, okay. <laughs> or not. He's going to go on the attack. He should link up. Okay, he could do that first, I suppose, but it's just... Oh, okay, all right, he doesn't want to do any of that. He he wants to play his own game, and we have to respect that. Got to respect that. This might have been premature still. Like, I really... I don't know what I'm doing anymore in Go. It's sad. Do you guys feel that way? You just got to be a little careful here. Oh, wow, this is violent. This is real violent. This is like super violent. Mm. Um, Nine, eight. That's an overplay. <laughs> this is, I don't have a connection here. Can I play here? I don't think he knows he can link up. Like, that's that's what my assumption is now becoming. That I think this is news, this move is news to him. All right, I guess he's just going to kind of let me out. He has this uh, ladder net thing. Wow. Okay. So, yes, this still leaves a weakness there. Um. Mm. Let's play there, and, and assume that he's going to push through now. I don't. I don't know which side is best to do first. Yeah. Do, do, do. And we block. Oh. All right, it's going to give me extra liberties that way. Well, that's fine. That's going to give me command of the center here. All right. He should really find this move. Hmm. All right, play that exchange. I'm just going to play here. Oof, that feels real awkward. That feels real slow. Real, real slow. Again, I don't think he, he knows that he has a move here, so he's way too anxious or something. Um, all right, let's annoy this group.
this first. I don't think it matters, right? Just play there. Mm. Oh man, we gotta be drinking more wine here. This is this is gonna this is gonna take me a while <laughs> like to drink this. Hmm. Like it's fine. Like it's it's a fine wine. Like this is still a cheap. I, I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money on like oak oak well <laughs> oak chardonnay. Uh, I don't know if double double honey feels a little aggro. <laughs> but again, I'm just eyeing this whole bottom quadrant of the board. I'm, I'm always linked up, right? Like like I have nothing to fear except fear itself. Um, can I just play here? Should I go do something more extra? Let's just play there. Let's just play there, see what he does. Uh, so his points are pretty much set. <laughs> it looks like he's not going to have a lot uh, of options here. It's good. It's slow, but it's good. But we have this now. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can do that. Get your Atari right now. Okay. All right, one, two, three. How much time do I got? To, do I have time? Oh, I'm already in BOME. I don't really have time to do a real count. Let's play here first. And ask again. And ask again. <laughs> okay. I have this move and this move. Does the order matter? Oh, I also wanted to play that one too, so yeah, maybe this is a bit too much, but we'll come back and connect there. All right, so he's we're just having mutual reduction, um, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. He's got about fifty plus whatever he has in the middle. Let's round up this a very generous sixty points. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Maybe just playing that one was better, but mm, yeah, yeah, definitely. That yeah, after I, after all this, I do need to come back and connect here. So that's a little depressing. Or do I? Do I really? Mm. Not actually clear. Maybe I'll play this in Sente. Or not in Sente, but like in like reverse, I don't know, whatever reverse Sente is. I think you guys can tell how scattered I'm feeling today. <laughs> Push. This is getting to be big. Is he going to cut? Is he looking for something to do? All right. Anyway, we said he has about 60. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 79, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, plus Comey. So we're, we're right at about 60. This is, this is like a fair game. Like, oh, plus that. He's looking, white's looking good. Or not black, uh, black's looking good. Mm. Can we cut? I want to play this one. This is kind of big. I'll play there first. We got to keep this connection a little bit. All right. So everybody's strong. That's a big move. But probably too soon. Probably too soon. All right, now I can come play this. We're already in endgame. Like, this game has gone so fast. This is just, like, one of those games where each person just, is just trying to take, like, three more points of territory than the other person. And, I mean, look where we're already at. Like, this is endgame. This is really big. 
Oh wow, he's just gonna let me do all that. This is actually, is this better? This might be better. Um, because he can threaten this connection in Sente. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> this is weird. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, he has a good move here. This is big. I don't know what that's doing. Does this, does this lead to anything? Oh, yeah, he has double target. Okay. Okay. Do I care? <laughs> is the next question. Oh, man. Duh. Duh. Oh, man, I wish that he couldn't come back to that move. All right. Oh, wow. Hey, buddy, what are you going to do about this move? Like, like that's big. So this move's really big, too, though. Um, okay, let's just play there. And there. And here. No, I gotta play here. Come on, Black, you gotta find that one. This is, this is, this is like, really important. Oh, oh, look how little wine I've drank. <laughs> I'm not, so not motivated to drink this one. Oh, yeah. Every time. Oh, man. I got a whole bottle of this, too. Yep. It's, it just has an aftertaste. Like, like that's probably the most, you know, plain way to describe it. Yeah, I wish I had that. That would have been nice. This is kind of big. This is also big. Um, this is also big. I guess given how he's playing, this one's going to freak him out the most. Because he hasn't figured out to play this one yet. Actually, let's just play this one now. Cause... Okay. And which is this better? I think this is best to play right now. Technically, I could use that as a co-threat. It's maybe not the best move. Um, hmm? This move is big. Let's pretend that it is. Okay, he thinks so. He's playing so passively. So, like, I'm getting all the endgame. And not even by a lot. Like, like just, just all the little things. Just Going my way. Mm, just kind of a move over there. There's a little bit of Aji there that I should be careful about. Let's just take that one. Okay, he's just going to respond to everything. Sure. Mm, do I care if he connects? Do I start a co? I think we do. You know, just for the funds. Okay. <laughs> it's co threat for co threat. <laughs> mm, it's good. I should have looked at co-threats before I played this way. Oh, it's not a co-threat. He doesn't even... Oh, my God. All right. This was this was a really poor game on everyone's part. Like, I want you all to know that. Like, this was, like, the least creative, boring, Q-ish, like, nothing game. Maybe in the history of Go. It's possible. Totally possible. I have no threats, though. At least, like, no ones I'm excited about. That one's kind of a threat. I mean, it is a threat, but... It's not... It's not... It's not the kind of threat that makes you feel good. 
Like, you know, you when you find those, like, really good threats, and you're like, uh-huh, my phone didn't even, didn't even know how to threat there. And it's real serious. I might let that one go. That'd be reasonable. Oh, okay. Of course, I guess taking here is bigger for me than I think, because it has such devastating follow-ups. I should really be factoring that in. Like, his threats need to be so much bigger than mine. Yeah, that's a big one. Alright. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Let's just find a good, like, a nice little threat. Mm. Connect, I guess, for a point. <laughs> That's my threat. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna take that one now. Oh, okay, backs off. All right, so that was a whole lot of not much. <laughs> Real exciting. I don't know. Play there. Ooh. 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 Hmm. Not sure if that's correct. <laughs> I'm trying to preserve a point here, but fighting a code to do it doesn't seem like it makes much sense. So I probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> Moral of the story. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't do it. This is this is this is called letting yourself get into way more trouble than you should. Of course, maybe he can't actually stop this connection. Yeah, he totally can. Oh yes, of course he can. Uh that's fine. This is a good endgame threat. It's not that many points, but it's still points. This is big. Nine, He's got good threats eight, over here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that loses a point. That's technically what we call a bad threat. All right, let's just play there. Give this up. Okay. I mean, sure. Also, bad threat. Meh. All right. There's something here that we should take. That's also kind of big. All right, you think we're winning? Mm. How do people drink this? Why is this like the like the preferred drink of like white ladies everywhere? <laughs> like, it's so weird. It's so weird to me. Hmm. Well, accord yeah, so let's see. According to my YouTube viewer subscriber statistics, only like 98% of you guys are dudes. So, you know, I assume, you know, just stereotypically, most of you probably don't like to drink Chardonnay. <laughs> I don't even know. I, why am I, do I have to play this? Like, I, I wasn't even thinking. That may have been just absent mindedness while I'm thinking about dudes. Uh, sorry, most of you probably don't drink Chardonnay, but I bet some of you have mothers who do. So I'd be very interested in hearing that, like, 
Like, how many of you actually, you know, drink and like Chardonnay versus how many of you have mothers who like to drink Chardonnay or girlfriends for that matter, or wives, whatever, whatever you have, you know, if we're just going to be like, like, you know, who this is often marketed to, um, you know, it's, it's not marketed to men and I don't know why, like, I mean, I don't like it, but I don't, I don't really consider myself that manly anyway. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not very high ranking on the man spectrum. What is this? Is this a thing? I don't know. This is this is such mindless endgame. I have to be a little bit careful here, but I have an eye, so should be fine. Oh, well, it's sort sort of a point. Okay. And so is that. Uh hmm. Let's just play there. Yeah, so so who of you among us drinks likes Chardonnay? Um, I, I don't. I don't know how I'm going to drink this bottle. Like seriously, I need. I need to just go to my neighbor's house and say, "Do you want this?" I, I might actually do that. <laughs> like, I won. All right, that's cool. Uh, let's finish our wine and celebration. I guess. Yep. 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 Oh, I don't think I talked about the grape very much before we go to the game. I don't think I had this up yet, but uh, what are we talking about? Well, you know, here are the primary flavors in Chardonnay, and I should say, like, this vanilla and butter is really only present in Chardonnay when it's oaked. You can get sh unoaked Chardonnay, and it's a totally different experience. Uh, there's a particularly famous unoaked Chardonnay from France called Chablis. Uh, totally different. Totally different thing. Same grape, uh, grown in the same region. Actually, and I guess they don't oak a lot of Chardonnay in Chablis, but in, you know, they do oak Chardonnay in many places. Um, yeah, one other thing about this wine, this is like, if you go to like any wine tasting at a local winery, they're probably gonna have a Chardonnay. This is the most grown white grape in the world. And they also say, the other thing about Chardonnay is that so much of its flavor, unlike so many other grapes, comes at the hand of the winemaker. This is wine that you you make. Like, it's more like sake in that sense, where, the, yes, you want some quality grapes, you want some quality fruit, but it's really up to the craftsmanship of, of the winemaker to make it good. Um, so, you know, there's something to that. But anyway, these oak and, or no, well, vanilla and butter flavors, these are generally in oaked Chardonnay. So especially like American Chardonnays, California Chardonnay um, tends to be very oaked. But if you go to any winery, like like in wherever you're living, and they have, you know, you know a flight of whites and a flight of reds to, to taste from their vineyard uh, or their winemaker, they're probably going to have a Chardonnay. Like it's, it's, again, it's the most popular white wine grape. And, you know, you can, you can seem intelligent or like, you know, something about wine. If you, if you just either inquire or ask about, you know, is your Chardonnay oaked? <laughs> and most places will say yes. <laughs> like that is, that is the predominant style, at least in America. Americans love their oaked Chardonnay. I can't, I don't know why I'm still figuring it out. If you, if anyone can explain it to me, please go right ahead. Um, the other, the primary fruit here, fruit here that I had such trouble, at least, uh, nosing and tasting, according to the wine folly page for it, it says yellow apple. That's weird, right? Like, first of all, we have red apple, then we have green apple and there's yellow apple. Like, I'm not even sure, like yellow, like, I'm not even sure what yellow apple tastes like. That's a really weird fruit to go to first. And then star fruit. I've had star fruit. I really can't remember what a star fruit tastes like. So that doesn't help me. Um, but that's a second primary flavor, <laughs> star fruit. Okay, all right, that's fine. And then third, pineapple. Do I get pineapple from this? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I, all right, I agree. I, there, I, I can kind of see pineapple. Okay, I can see pineapple. Um, and I like pineapple a lot, but it's it's a little bit down there. Um, but definitely vanilla. Yep, definitely butter. Yep. As far as your, your tasting notes. Um, anyway, on the, on the wine folly scales, we noted before, like, like the bottom, anything that's medium or lower tends to be much lower. <laughs> like most of the wine ratings are in the top three for most varietals. Um, dry, some, yeah, it's definitely like medium dry. Medium body, yeah, it's fuller than a lot of whites, um, for sure. Medium acidity, uh, man, I, I'm not really getting a lot of acidity from this. I would put this one a little bit lower, but again, Chardonnay is one of the most diversely produced and crafted grapes. This, this, they're really, they really need to have like a range here on these sliders. Um, and low note tan. Yeah, there's no tannin. Like there's no dryness on the, the tongue, that, that sticky dryness you feel 
um, when you're drinking, you know, tannic red wines. There's none of that here. Um, and that's maybe, maybe that has a lot to do with why it's such a popular drink among Americans is that they don't have to face that, that, that sort of weirdness and <laughs> that weird, that weird tannic quality that so many other wines have. Um, so like it, it definitely fills your palate. It gives you a lot of flavors. It's, it's, it's very smooth. Like it's like you can, like there's nothing harsh about it. My faces that I made have all just been from like the, the weird flavor compounds I'm getting. The wine itself is incredibly smooth. And maybe that's what that, maybe that's why it's so popular again. Like just for Americans, it doesn't challenge you to, it, it, you know, you don't have to, you don't have like a hump to get over in terms of acidity or body or, or tannic structures. It's just kind of like middle of the road and it ha it does have complexity to it. Like there, are, there is some complexity. Now the complexity I do not like, like this is, this is like, what's more American than butter, I guess. I guess butter isn't that American. We like butter, but like there are French, there are French cooks who, um, you know, love the butter. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's the chart. Let's go back to go. Uh, let me throw it in a robot and see what the robot thinks of this. Again, I this was a, this was just such, you know. Let's see how could I spin this. Let's just say this was such a peaceful game. It was just it was just this was like total like like the most casual go game uh, you could possibly play. And I, I guess in that in that sense it was really relaxing. <laughs> like it kind of did the job. It did the trick. Um, this was very much just like two friends not wanting to like you know, just, just like talk and play, talk and throw down stones. Like that's the kind of game this game reminded me of. Anyway, let me be back in a second. I'll see what the robot says. All right. So we're back and very, very bravely, I poured myself another glass and granted, this is a very small wine glass. This is a baby like wine tasting tasters glass. So, you know, <laughs> it's not, not impressive. Uh, Yep, still tastes like oak chardonnay. Okay, <laughs> hasn't changed. Anyway, um, I think you guys might have been able to see, you know, if any will the AI review. You see, this is how the game went. Let's talk about this because this is uh, there was there was both my disaster and sort of the top left. That's what this was, and then both of us, uh, especially me though, we're totally missing the correct move to harass this bottom group. And so let's talk about those two things. Uh, anyway, very passive game, like incredibly passive. And if this is your style, like, like that's fine. Like I, like, I think I, I, pl I like to play very solid, strong, passive go. Like I don't go looking for fights unless they benefit me. Um, and you know, I, I, I'm more, I don't know, I guess Lee Chang Ho kind of style is probably the, uh, the pro that I'm most similar to, like, like at least in practice and spirit, I'm totally not like, it's a weird, like it's weird. Like I don't, I don't connect with him spiritually, but I connect with him like with what I actually play on the board. Uh, anyway, for the most part, this is all fine. Like, like again, turning here, yes, is a little bit minus for white. Um, when black has a stone here, white should just jump instead like this. Um, but very, these are all very, like, there's lots of little like slight, like fractional point losses. Um, but white does actually gradually build up a little bit of an advantage through this. This opening is, oh, excuse me, slightly advantageous for white. And right here, this is this is perhaps the first notable mistake. I, I should indeed just come on top like this. And, uh, you know, play some sort of sequence like this. This would be better. Um, as, it, as it turns out. Although, in the game... Uh, when white plays this variation, this leaves options for tomfoolery that I totally don't capitalize on. I'll show you that here. All right. This move's totally worth talking about in this corner. So I have this Aji here. I do not use this well. Instead of using the Aji lightly, I actually make it heavier. And so this is a really like, like if there's going to be anything educational <laughs> coming from this video, that's not about wine, right? That's about go is perhaps this situation here. So it's how to use this Aji. Cause I don't use it well. Like I'm like, well, I kind of want to attack the stone and I've kind of got two stones here. And maybe I have a group here, but it's still not quite solid for a base. How do I use these two stones? And my, my idea was let's build a wall because that's a thing you learn how to do and go. And it's, that's a thing. It totally makes sense. 
Um, but there's a better thing. And the better thing way to use this Aji is to play a move like this. And you can see the variation that the computer read out. Um, basically, you just make a mess. You use these two stones as, as mess. <laughs> Uh, black is really strong here, and you have to keep that in mind. So you can't, and I'm also weak here. So I, this is not a fair fight. And in the game, uh, I was almost bewildered, like, oh, black wasn't playing uh, this point over here to connect underneath and just make black strong and capture me on the inside. And, it, and it's true that black didn't do that, but black really shouldn't have done that. Like, this is actually a, a bad or less than ideal move. It's an okay move, according to the bot. Moves like this. Um, they're very territorial. It keeps out all your stones safe. But no, black has all... This Panuki has all this strength. Black should actually fight. And so... Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm at a disadvantage here, and I sort of dig my own grave by extending and coming out and fighting like this. Uh, to here, though, I play I play beautiful move. This is the AI move. Uh, this one... So if you didn't catch this one during the game... This is a very nice Tesuji. Um, just leaning while you're running out is very good style. Um, but I, I kind of F it up after this because the next best move, or the best move I should play is just pull back. <laughs> and black really can't, it's hard for black to continue the attack because of the weakness that got made here. Um, but in the game I play this, which just leaves another weakness in my shape and gives, you know, black some counter-attacking opportunities. Um, I did get very lucky here. I should, I should extend here. Um, but black really should cut. Oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, cut and just fight this way. And this is totally fine for black. Like, um, white actually has to work really hard not to die. Um, getting moves here and here. Uh, you know, finding time to do both those things. Um, you know, I'm sure black was looking at this ladder and going, well, the ladder favors white, so doesn't want to have the burden of... Um, this ladder with these weakish stones here, but again, black always has the ability to connect, and these still have space to move out to. This is totally advantageous for black. Um, and so when black played this move here, and white played here, this is a 10-point swing back to back to white's, ad or I guess basically neutral advantage um, up through here. Um, this is a this is a 10-point lead for black just because this group has to work so hard not to die. Um, black will gain an advantage. But after here, it's basically an even game again. And from this point on, uh, white white basically ga gains a significant advantage. Um, we play these exchanges. These are all fine. That's the proper move for white. Um, that's slow. That's the proper response. Uh, and this is too slow. But this is also really too slow. Like This is way too paranoid. Um, and then this is a legit good move because now <laughs> this group is under some severe attack, like much more severe than you realize. Um, in the game, I was just like, well, if black does something over here, then, you know, clearly I have moves like this to reduce this to zero eyes. And now where's this group going to go? Right? Like it's basically running into white stones there. You can kind of try to thread the needle this way or this way, but there's not a lot of holes there. Um, so this group is in major trouble. And so when black in the game um, continue to play this way, first of all, I should just take this Atari. I shouldn't be Hanaing yet. I should just take the Atari. When black Hanae's here and I do this, this move is real wrong. Like, like oh, so wrong. <laughs> Don't play that one, kids. Who can find the shape point? And I felt bad playing this move in the game, but I but I didn't have the right, the right point on my radar either. So, uh, you know... You gotta find this one. And check this out. Black basically has to take is the only response. And then white has this move to peep here. Oh, so dirty. And this is only half an eye. Oh, that didn't even draw down here. Because white shouldn't do this right now. That's because it's just one eye and go tight. White should still play another move over here. Maybe just that. Um, this is just Doom's black. Like, this is just Doom. <laughs> um... But even black has one half eye, or in other words, one eye and gote is another way of saying that. And this is a false eye and like this doom. Like this is just a easy white's now up over 20 points on the board. Like easily. So I failed at that. Failed pretty hard when I played here. 
Um, even even after here, I still have some play. But basically, every move from this point is like a twenty point loss that isn't over here. Like the the game is just looking at this and going, "Look, dude, you're just no matter what you do, it's it's a twenty point loss <laughs> because you could just kill this group." <laughs> and for both players, right, for Black to respond and for me to provoke and Black to respond, these are all twenty point losses. It doesn't matter, and that's why you see that ratings graph just go bam, 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 bam. All 20-point losses robots don't care until here. <laughs> and now the robot's back <laughs> invested in this game again. Uh, and after I don't respond here, I, I can no longer kill this um, because Black has this to capture. And so at the end, I should just, I should again, I shouldn't be so paranoid. Should I just play here immediately because I can still kill all this. And Black has to respond again. Oh, well. Um, so from that point on, once once this all goes down, this the 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 points graph just turns into white. Like it's a solid fifteen point win, not a huge win. Um, again, I wasn't as you could watch or tell, I wasn't working terribly hard at this. Uh, so not a huge win, and there's lots of little point fluctuations. But again, over time, it just builds out to that fifteen point advantage, and that's it. Oh, uh, I guess there was this. Um, oh, there's a couple, there's a couple little nice things here. Uh, oh, there's one other move. This move. This one. This is the best move on the board, so I should feel very proud. Did you guys see this endgame move? Not here, not anything over here, but just this bump. Best endgame move. Um, and so that was, I did that very intuitively, so I'm proud. There's my, there's like my proud go moment of the, of the evening. Uh, is this bump. And the reason why... Oops, I went too far. Uh, you don't want to play this one, of course, is that there's still this little bit of Aji here for the eyes of this group, especially after Black takes this. Um, this is pretty big endgame because if White does something else now, this is Sente, you know, this is all Sente, and White doesn't have the two eyes here, as you can see. And so... This move makes sure white can either connect or make an eye. And it's good end game against this group along here on the side. Um, so anyway, that's my last little proud moment thing. Um, nothing else really interesting happened. Oh, I guess this is this is also a distinction. I should connect here instead of here. This is a slight point loss because of this Aji. That's the proper <coughs> connection in that case. But everything else is just sort of like, you know, real, real pedantic end game. It's real not exciting. <laughs> That's okay. We're drinking Chardonnay. I think that's that's totally fine for me. Next time when I have a spicier wine, maybe I'll go looking for more trouble. Hmm. But not tonight. So again, um, like like so, I have the Vivino phone app where you can rate your wines that you drink. I have no idea what to rate this because again, it's nice. Like as far as I can tell, as far as quality. Um, again, very smooth. Like, I can't really detect any harshness to it. It's just, man, those flavors are just... I don't think wine should be this flavor. <laughs> like, that's... This wine should not come in this flavor. So, I don't know if this type of wine flits, fits, floats your boat. Oh, we should read the back of the wine. That's always fun. Because some wines are very, like, informational and tell you, like, tasting notes. Some some are, you know, stories about the winemaker. This one, Eater. From the absolute, we emerge evolving onto the spiraling road of life. Oh God, this is awful. Let's raise a glass to the journey we take, consciously navigating through times of joy and challenge, returning undivided back to the source. What the fuck does that have to do with? Anyway, all right, anyway, we're ending there. Happy going again. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying this wine series as much as I have. Um, I don't know how long this bottle of Chardonnay is going to sit in my fridge, but if any of you are local, come over and drink it for me. I'll, I'll like, just, yeah. <laughs> so if you, that'll be great. Okay. Happy going. Happy going.